Okay, uh, we're going to practice responding to another theory trick, which is erring neg, and skep comes first. This is two key toolbox arguments that skep debaters use. So pretend that you are the 2AR, and I've read these in the 2NR, okay? Over you one is error neg about the theory debate after the 2AR, not the 2AR. This means you shouldn't evaluate any 2AR arguments on theory. If you think that's too harsh, don't evaluate any 2AR weighing at the very worst. A point is I have no 3NR, so evaluating the theory debate after the 2AR puts me at a structural disadvantage. So I can't point out 2AR arguments, shifts, or extrapolations, and not. Uh, and, and to respond to new 2AR arguments, two, B point is time skew. The app has 7 minutes of speech time between the 3 minute uh, 2AR and 4 minute 1AR, but I only have a 6 minute NR at worst. Even if you don't structurally preclude new 2AR arguments, this means you should error neg on the theory debate if it's close to counterbalance the app advantage. Overview two, skep comes first. First, it denies the objective obligations, which takes out the argument about what you have to do as a judge based on your ballot question. If skep is true, you have no obligation to vote on fairness. Second, uh, fairness is a normative co uh, concept. If equality isn't objectively valuable, you don't need to vote on the theory argument. Third, if skep is especially true on theory because truth literally varies from round to round. Plans seem to be good in one, but not in another, so there's no way to prove any of you's claim. True. So keep in mind that this is happening in the context of a blip storm to an R where they're trying to spread you as thin as possible, so. right? So you don't yeah. have more than maybe 30 seconds to deal with both of these overviews. Yep. Does that make sense? So let's see if you can beat this in 30 seconds. For those of you following along at home, try to do the same. Okay, in this drill set, uh, we're going to listen to Parker respond to Aaron Egg and Skep first uh, after having taken prep time. Hopefully you've done the same, so compare your responses to this. I'm ready. Cool. Or do the air neg, this causes the infinite amount of issues to work, there's no possibility of winning the theory debate since you can't make weighing arguments to the true, which means you obviously have to decide which arguments come first, out which arguments come first, because pre works to engage in the theory debate in the first place, you have to make sure I can check if you say no three and out, but it's not me, because you have to give me no true error, and you say seven, six times, so you've returned it, so you uniquely better, so only get four minutes of new arguments, so I get six minutes with new arguments, so I'm more comparatively more important, because you make more offensive arguments, so what reason why you win now, the overview of skeptics is also the first theory, theory arguments go and indict skepticism, which means it questions you can fairly evaluate and decide who's winning the theory debate and decide if skep is true, which means it's impossible to cross by the argument, it's the same, uh, same reason why, uh, also, uh, like the preview I posted just because uh, just because I won usual shoes does not mean you should vote for me because I donate most to charity it's because uh, you think I'm the, the one who uh, won the debate cool I think the last argument how long was that 38 seconds 38 seconds okay um, we do need to get that to 30 I think you can be a little bit faster on the first uh, one on air neg um, I think you can argue just that infinite abuse outweighs time skew because there's a uh, result like reversibility. You can still win with skewed times, can't win when there's like literally no recourse. Yeah. Right? Um, and I think maybe uh, having it framed as infinite abuse is not the good argument. Having it framed as recourse might be better. Yeah. Like two error has no recourse. You still have recourse on the one error beats theory because you can just get a good, give a good counter -inter. Yep. Cool. Um, so that will save you time. I think also the util example would be like, this is analogous to saying every time I win a util standard, the winner of the debate should be who's donated most to charity. That's absurd. Yeah. Or this is like saying. So you need to set up the analogy properly. And you can set it up either by being like, this is like, this would be the equivalent of saying, or this is like, blah, 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 or this is analogous to, or it's equivalent of saying, blah, blah, blah. All four of those are. Do you think it would be more um, powerful if I used a skep example specifically? Like, this is like if a debater read skep, you just voted for the debater you liked better because you have no obligation. No, I think the util example is really powerful. Cool. I like that one more. Cool. Yeah, the util example is really powerful. Keep that. Awesome. Yeah, but this this gets does the job. Cool. I think the only argument I would make argue on the line by line there is the truth varies from round to round. I feel like there's no impact. Like we're not searching for capital T truth. Why are we searching? There it is in this debate. Like yes, truth varies from everybody's search. Yeah. Cool. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. So let's see you do it again and try to get to thirty. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Over the air negatively means that there's no recourse for a for it. Go a little faster. 
Or if you air negative, this means there's no recourse for you for, 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 for negative reviews because I can't go for the two air theory because I can make no way guarantee which you always get side direction link. No possibility of, of, of me winning the bait out without reverse blue since there's no recourse for me uh, for free for, for, no two or one answer abuse, but you can always just read a good counter interpretation. Now you like, should I like answer the arguments from the line by? Yeah, you should say specifically yeah, waste time skew on reverse ability. Okay, what, was, what was the first the argument on the line by line? No three and R. No, you uh, you should be like, your structural disadvantages, i.e. no 3 and R and time skew, are all reversible. This one is not. Okay, so I shouldn't put link to it, then it's just lame. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do I need to reference something specifically, or just read a good counter interpretation when this theory debate's empirically? You can just say that. Alright, cool. Or be air negative, mean that the negative field of the app can never check back for negative abuse, which means that I lose every single debate because I can't wait to make our two or three, which means that I lose every single debate since you get to decide which of our arguments come first. I lose every single debate, which means I lose every single debate. Yeah. Well. Or be air negative, your interpretation means that I have no recourse against all the one in abuse or source since I can make no weighing arguments, which means that you always decide direction to link and now that I always argue that reversibility since there's no possibility to our winning, but you know, there's obviously a reversibility on uh, one of our theories and people just win on that all the time with good counter interpretations out. These kept on first arguments, the overview issue here is that theory in dice caps means you can't win, I uh, can't decide who's the whole hand, who to stand on the bank and decide to cross by that theory. Uh, this is like saying that you should vote for me because I want a utility standard and I've donated the most charity. Oh wait, also, you say truth verifies by uh, truth verifies every round, but this means that this is, like, there's no impact, so every debate is different. We're trying to switch for fairness in that round specifically. Yeah, also you don't have the theory indict skep argument now. I like that argument. Yeah, I do. That was the top, that was the very top one. Yeah. I just couldn't mind anything on that. Okay, maybe I missed that. Um, I think that this is worth uh, doing one more time, so why don't you try one more time? Oh, the air negative, your argument is that your app has no big questions of use of one and C strategies because the two arc has no way I was going to get your side of direction to link it. And if that same as your head of that, we saw first ability since there's no possibility of the two arc winning our theory. But uh, there was a big question of winning our theory since just read a good counter interpretation, which appears in the rounds all the time now. The theory for skeptic me first theory and dice skeptic, which means that it comes necessarily comes prior because you can't decide who's winning on that layer of the flow, which means you can't cross by two theory. This essentially like, so it's also essentially like saying that uh, the, it's because of the whatever utility standard should the, uh, if when I want a utility standard that you should just don't, it will vote for the person who donates the most charity. That's ridiculous. You say truth varies every round, but there's no impact. We're trying to find fairness in this specific debate, not every debate. Yeah. Um, I think you could have introduced the util example by being like, also, this conflates, uh, it's the equivalent, like, this conflates pre fiat and post fiat. It's the equivalent of saying blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Although, I don't know, maybe the, I don't know, maybe the, the phrase pre fiat, post fiat is confusing. Because that's what a lot of TOC does. Although I do think that it's just like silly. Yeah. Like, the judge is like, this is a skeptic debate. I don't know what fiat is, so I don't know if you get this right. Yeah, that makes sense. But that's it's just semantics. Yeah, that is just semantics. Uh, David cool. Vinland's robbed. <laughs> uh, great. Okay. So this is trick number two that tricks debaters will leverage against you. And so the way we beat back lots of bad, quick arguments is we overview them and we beat them back with one or two really good arguments. Yep. Cool. So quality beats quantity if all else is equal. Cool. Quality will not be quantity if you are less technically efficient or if you are slower. You will just be overwhelmed. Cool?